You guys, it's October 1st and Harry's got his trick or treat cup. Yep. And I've got my Hocus Pocus cup. Got these at TJ Maxx. Yep. And we're going to make ourselves some pumpkin spice. After all, it is the first everything. day of October. It is. Everything. It's the first day of October. Oh, October, right. Yes, it is. Okay, you guys, we're going to have our cup of our coffee. Good morning, good morning. Welcome everyone and welcome all you new folks too. Hey! First of October. You guys, it is October for us. Today's the first of October and I've got my cup. Her new cup. My new cup for October. Harry's got his. It's all hot and ready to go. Yep. If you guys want to know where we got them, they were $3.99 at TJ Maxx. Yeah. So, um, we're all set with our pumpkin spice coffee this morning, you guys. I've got the front door open. The air is circulating. It's full. It's beautiful here in Arizona. Finally, we're getting somewhat good weather. It's supposed to get in the uh, hundreds, like 105 later today, but we're waking up to nice 75, 76, 77 degree weather. So I'm very excited about that. Hey, you guys, who joined us for this week for eggs, beef, and bacon fast? I did. Harry did. Okay, you guys, some ooh, interesting ooh, things. Ooh. Interesting things Harry will share. Yeah. Anyway, you guys. That's why I vote to name this particular uh, vlog, um, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> but it'll come back to you. Yeah. Oh, anyway. Hey, thank you, Shelly, for your suggestion of calling this Walktober. It's so cute, so catchy. So you guys, we're going to move our bodies this month. I'm going to work my arms, which are sore from working out them on weights for the first time since my cool sculpting. For anyone who is new here, go check out my cool sculpting vlog. It'll be at the end uh, of this vlog. There'll be a, a link to it. You can click on it and watch that. But anyway, my arms are sore. Yes, they are. But we are walking. Sally is walking. She's all excited. Can't talk too loud. If you mention the W-A-L-K yeah. word, she'll come running. Anyway, you guys, everything you eat the day before and sometimes two days prior can cause a stall in your weight gain, can cause water retention, can cause, in Harry's case, gout. Yep, sure can. I'll we'll explain in a minute. Um, vitamins that you take, medication, over-the-counter medication, uh, sleep aids over-the-counter medication and prescriptions. So you guys, just note that as long as you are doing this, you may go up and down, but as long as that trend is down, you want the downward trend from Friday to Friday, right? That's the important part. Watching it every day, you're fluctuating water. It's a water thing right? You're not eating enough calories. Hopefully you're not eating over 3,500 calories in order to gain a pound. So that's what that is. Don't get obsessed with it, but use it as a tool because that's what Harry and I are doing. And Harry is learning since we started tracking a couple of months ago for him. Boy, is his eyes wide open now. He wants to track everything. Anyway, with that, you guys, I want to share what we had to eat yesterday, which was perfectly keto, and it was eggs, bacon, and beef, basically, with butter, 
lard or tallow as our fats. I had two eggs, three pieces of bacon, three ounces of ground beef, half a tablespoon of butter. That was for breakfast. For breakfast. Oh, why are we going on a focus here? Okay. I had three eggs, four pieces of bacon, half a teaspoon of butter, two scoops of collagen throughout the day, six tablespoons Khalifa pumpkin spice. And I forgot to write my Alterna spicy ketchup. It gives me one carb. So my carbs are, are one carb more. Harry had three eggs, three ounces of ground beef, three slices of bacon for a wonderful eggs, beef, and bacon bowl. That was for breakfast. That was for breakfast with a tablespoon of butter and a tablespoon of lard because we had just cooked bacon. I figured why not use that delicious bacon lard. For dinner, he had three ground, three eggs, three ounces ground beef, and three ounce, and three slices of bacon. Three, three, three for his eggs, beef, and bacon bowl. Again, cooked his eggs in butter. Two scoops of collagen through the day. Six tablespoons of Khalifa pumpkin spice. We had a 16-hour fast because we broke our fast about 10.30 yesterday. I think it was Did we? 10, it was like 10.30-ish. Yeah? Because we oh, were a little bit hungry. Oh, 16 hours is good. We were a little hungry. I'm hungry. Like, I'm hungry today. Yes. I'm hungry today, too. 2% carbs, and actually I'm going to make that 6.5 because I know a tablespoon of Alterna Sweets gives you one tablespoon of carbs. It's made with stevia, but it still has a carb in it because it's made with ketchup. 65% fat, 92.7 grams. 33% protein for a total of 104.7 grams. Total calories, 1,288. Yep. Harry had 1% carb for a total of 4.8 grams, 67% fat for a total of 125.6 grams, 32% protein for a total of 133.4, and you guys, he had Look higher calories. calories yesterday. Ooh. 1715. Yep. 1,715 calories. And if calories. you notice, my 133 was just a tad, it was right at your lean body mass. Right. Right there. Give or take, you guys. It depends on... <coughs> you can be concise with the tracking. But you're that's... Not, a, it, you're not going to be, like, to the 10th degree yeah. on that. Because it's it, it's a calorie tracker, and it's based on what the information is input into it, too. And what choice you choose. And it's very difficult when you're choosing meat, because you don't know how much fat ratio, you know. Even bacon, the meat-to-fat ratio is different. It's a guesstimation. So, anyway, with that, you guys, we both gained some weight. You guys, my arms are sore, and I'm calling this water retention for my arms. Oh. Uh, but Harry went up two I don't tenths agree of a pound. That. I don't know? agree with that. No, because if you notice, we both went up the same amount. Okay, and Harry and wants to... Ex I'm good. Yeah, I want to. Harry wants to explain on the big board, but first, Harry, what? you're going to go shave, and you're going to go huh? comb your hair because you look a fright, and it's not Halloween yet. So we'll be back in just a minute, folks. Yeah, oh boy. You guys, when I shared this with you this morning, I forgot to put the yesterday magnet on it. So I don't mean to confuse everybody with that, but... This was actually yesterday's menu. I will share today's menu later in a different segment today. But now, Harry went and shaved. He's presentable. So let him present, you guys. So we all know Wendy and I both went up today. And why is that? Because we ate all of our standards. Can I come in? Yes. If you notice, we ate all of our... In fact, all we had was eggs and bacon. And oh, I don't have and the beef. ground... And the ground beef right there. Okay, there it is. Ground beef. Eggs, bacon, and beef Gram, with tallow, beef. lard, or butter. So, what caused us to go up? Well, if we're going to go up here. Yeah. And here is, this is the culprit right here. Yes. This bacon. Five pound, over five pounds of bacon. This bacon right here, come to find out, it's got some phosphates in it, and it's got a, uh, various kinds of salts in it, and it's, and it's cured with sugar. Well, most bacon has sugar in I it, but, that. but we don't know 
Okay, so also if you come back down here, you'll notice that I did uh, stand back a little bit so you get the whole thing. Um, you'll notice that I went over the, the last three days because we've been eating our staples the last, basically the last three days, except on this day is when I had those bacon, um, what's it, cheese patties. I can't remember what kind of right. patty, patty it was. And that caused me to go up. Wendy didn't have them and she actually lost weight. And then this day we followed the same staples and we both went down and, we, well, we went ahead and followed the same staples here. But we grabbed a pack of this bacon. But we grabbed a pack. Because we split it out. Yeah, that. And we used that, and we went up. So what we did with this bacon, you guys, we had to split it into several, I think it was three packages. Yeah, because this, this was, was from way back when The zombie were apocalypse lockdown virus, when that was the only bacon I could find, right? When everything was low on the shelves, yeah. and I was doing the bacon yeah. fast. Or the egg and bacon yeah. fast. Nobody bought it because it was 30 some bucks. Right. You know. But it was almost six pounds of bacon. And it, now if you go down here, you'll notice that Wendy pretty much stays within a pattern here. She goes 1230 on, this is her, um, this would be her calories. 1230 and the following day a 1310 and the following day a 1288. But on the fat, she basically pretty much stays within a certain, I'd say 30 points. She stays in 30 points. Now you go down to mine. Okay, I'm really going all over the place here. I go from 1552 to 1676, then up to 1715. Not only with this, but here and here, your um, lean body mass, the amount of protein yeah. you ate, met or exceeded slightly. That's right. So I had a real hard time losing any weight. I think I've got to stay uh, below this about uh like maybe 120 and below mm, on the protein because no, you know i i really do i so well, i'm eliminating the bacon out of my diet well as there's of today an, and there's another reason why you, you you woke up and you said what to me about your feet oh yeah uh and also it caused me to have my gout and i get gout in my big toe and the salts, we yeah. think the salts the that they use to cure that bacon yeah. cause it because that's the only thing. And you have not had gout ever oh, yeah. on long, eggs, bacon, and beef. Oh, no. I don't get it at, at all. At all. But when we started using this bacon, yep. my gout started happening and my weight started to give me problems. Yes, See, it I only did. went up one tenth, or I uh, only lost one tenth of a pound here. That was it. And you guys, this is October 1st. Tomorrow, he wanted to share this information right here with you. Right. So tomorrow we'll remove the board and we'll start with October 1st at the top. Right. But he gleaned all this information and he wanted to share why he's being so granular. Why we're tracking so closely. And there, there really is a pattern that develops that if you can see the pattern, you can correct it. If you don't know, or you're guesstimating, or you think, right? And you're going, why aren't I losing why any weight? Why am I not losing weight? If you're like us, we're very sensitive to changes. I am super sensitive to carbs, and so is Harry. So that's why it's important, you guys. I mean, you can see what we're going through. Yes. And you could see the struggles that we're having, They're even real. though we are so in depth yeah. and we're still having problems. If you're not doing this and you're having problems, well, you can see how easy it is not to lose the weight, especially as you get lower and closer to your... Um, can we film together so we can both talk? Oh, I'm done. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He's so full of information. I didn't want you guys to have a talking air with a head. Sorry about that. But he's true. The closer you get, Harry has like 12 pounds, 15 pounds, depending on what the weight is. 165 is where, for his height, weight, man, the whole thing, he, that's where he needs to be. And then the doctor wants him to be 10 pounds under because his heart was damaged last year with a silent heart attack after his quadruple bypass surgery. So, you guys. But that wasn't keto. The importance keto of, and cannot stress enough, tracking your food. At least until you start losing your weight again. If you're, if you're having issues, you have to figure out why. Because yeah. if you're doing the same thing and you're really worried about it and you're not tracking, how do you know how to fix 
the issue. And it can be as simple as a different kind of bacon. A different kind of bacon, right? Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. With the bad, something bad in it. Yeah. Processed, stripped white salt. Because Smithfield and Wright Bacon, Kirkland, um, uh, Applewood smoked bacon, and then there's that um, one that is the expensive one that we get at Kirkland that's the uncured mm -hmm. um, organic. That's like 16 bucks that's for expensive. two pounds or Does something. Does not bother us at all. This bacon is a one off compared to what we normally eat. So, you guys, I have four, about four pieces of bacon. And I'm going to eat it. Yeah, I'm not. I'm. But gonna... there's four pieces, so I'm going to make our menu and I'm going to see what it does to me. Okay? Yeah. I'm going to see what it does. Well, that'd be to me. good you know because I'm not, and you are, so that'd be interesting. If everybody who's a regular viewer, and if you guys haven't, go and watch my bacon fast diet challenge. There were a couple times where I went up. Yeah. I didn't know why, and we had this just in a generic Ziploc bag. So I'm wondering if it was that specific bacon. Could be. That was causing the issues back then. Could be. Some bacon has like a carb. I think we knew it, and that's why we didn't eat it. Was that it? Yeah, and then we put it, we said, well, did we'll we just put it that aside. Out yeah. Totally forget it yeah. when we did our. Uh, that's why we didn't eat any more of it. I was wondering about that. Anyway, when you buy stuff at the butcher, I have some jalapeno bacon in there that I bought at Whole Foods that we haven't eaten yet because I'm afraid of the carb count in it because I didn't ask what the carb count, but I know I've watched some other keto YouTuber uh, channels and they've had uh, weight gain and they've looked at the back of their bacon and it says like 0.1 or less than one per slice. And you're eating, who eats just one slice of bacon, right? You eat at least two to three, oh, yeah. sometimes four. Yeah. So seriously, if you are sensitive to carbs and sugar, that adds up. That adds up really quick. So anyway, I am going to make our today's menu. Mm. And uh, we're sticking to the eggs, beef and bacon. But Harry just wants eggs and beef. That's what That's he it. wants today. That's all I'm going to eat all day. he can't have that because his gout, we've got to fix that gout. And he's got some, is it, what kind, what's the name of that pills you take? Oh, I don't know. They're, anyway, I take But it. he's going to take the pill and we're going to see I already how took it. Goes. I took it last night. Before I went to bed because it was starting to bother did it, me. Did it? Yeah, I pretty much Do you think that stalled your weight? Because you don't take it all the time. Uh, I don't know. I Yeah, I've taken it before. So if you take it tonight, we take out the know. bacon, we'll, we'll know. We'll know, right. We'll Interesting. Know. Yeah, that's a good... Yes, God, it is. You that didn't down. even think about it because he takes the gab... Uh, not gabapentin. He does take that, but that's for something else when he needs that. The gout medicine he takes as needed when uh -huh. he has an issue of gout. So if he took it last night, that could be another reason why. Yeah, we'll find that out tomorrow because I'm but going really back to the to the grass roots. the cause. Roots. Is the cause the bacon is the cause of the gout, and then he took the medicine, which could be the cause of the weight gain. Bacon, medicine, and gout could be the cause. Could be, but we'll find out for we sure. We will. We'll find out for sure, and I'm we'll going to have these luscious pieces of bacon. I'm going to see. So I'm going to make our board up and we'll come back in the next segment, everybody, when I figure out what today's menu is going to be. You know, I bet these people think we're weird because we even take pictures of our food. My arm is sore. My, if the board is wiggling, it's because my arm is sore from lifting weights. It starts to sag it's to start, the floor. No, it starts shaking. The whole thing shakes. So I kind of got it tight to my, tight to my arms here. This is today's menu. This is what we're eating today, folks. I always pre-track it, write it down. There's no surprises, know exactly what we need to eat. Three eggs, two ounces of ground chuck. I am making an egg scramble with my ground chuck. I'm scrambling it in a half a tablespoon of butter. I'm topping it with a tablespoon of Alterna ketchup, and I'm having two of those bacons on the side. I'm repeating the same for dinner, three eggs, two ounces of ground chuck scrambled, and a half a tablespoon of butter, topped with Alterna ketchup with two slices of bacon. During the day, usually in the morning and usually one after uh, we eat, we're having two scoops of collagen total, six tablespoons of Khalifa pumpkin spice total, and this morning we had a bulletproof pumpkin spice coffee. I put 10 grams of the cocoa butter in mine because I was hungry. 
Harry and I were both hungry. So I put that cocoa butter in there, you guys. I'm not, and oh, yeah, you know what? You're right. I'm not hungry. I don't feel hungry right the now. The collagen scoops. Yep. And I'll, let me show you real quick fact, what okay. that is. In fact, my stomach's not even growling right. like it was. That's weird. These are the ones I bought um, from Vitacost, you guys. And I had to smash them because they melted. But you just take, take some and weigh it on your scale. Weigh it in grams. It has um, hyaluronic acid in it. There goes my phone again, you guys. I'll be right back. Anyway, you guys can get, I've shown you two different kinds of that cocoa. I get the organic um, raw, the cocoa or the cacao butter. You guys make sure it has zero carbs, that it just has the cacao or the cocoa in it, the butter part. It's delicious and it makes a wonderful, yeah, you're not hungry, are you? I no, not, not at, all. at all. And I was hangry. That's hungry. weird because before I went and got the eggs hangry. at the store, I was, yeah. my stomach was going, Row. and I only had 10 grams. So when you get yours, they'll come in nibs or pieces. Where Just it? measure it out right here, 10 grams of cocoa butter. Oh, okay, 10 grams, huh? Yep. Yeah, because it's all melted yeah. and you had to break it apart. Yeah. And it's delicious. So Harry had, is going to have on today's menu, three eggs with four ounces of ground chuck. He's doing his, his ground beef bowl, you guys. Tablespoon of butter, and I'm adding a tablespoon of beef tallow in it. Yeah, I'm going all he's the way repeating, back to the beginning. Yes, he's repeating the same, but he gets five ounces of ground chuck for dinner. Three eggs, tablespoon of butter, no tallow. He's gonna, he's gonna have his two scoops of collagen, one in the morning, one in the evening. He had 12 grams of cocoa butter in his bulletproof pumpkin spice coffee this morning. In my cup. And we're gonna have six tablespoons of the Khalifa pumpkin spice throughout the day. So, he gets 1% carbs for a total of 4.8 grams, 68% fat. My arm is, wait a minute. My arm is We're going to sag slowly to the ground. 120.6 grams, 31% protein for a total of 126.9. He wants to stay under the 133 lean body mass, you guys. And his total calories are 1,619, and my arms are killing me. We'll set it down. Oh, I worked out with weight, you guys, and my arms yeah, are I think you did too much. tired today. <laughs> they really are. Anyway, you guys, try the... Um, Cocoa butter, get some, it's really good fat. It's very, very healthy for you. And um, it's delicious, makes your coffee taste like real chocolate because that's the part that gives you the flavor in your cocoa, in your chocolates. And there's, um, it's just pure fat. So it's really good, but you have to sweeten it because it is bittersweet because there's no sugar in it. It's just straight. So, did I share the back of it? No. Yeah, all oh, before earlier. So you'll sh Harry will put a picture of the front and the back of this particular brand. I've had two different kinds and I got mine from Vitacost, but I'm sure you probably can get it online at Amazon. Okay. Anyway, everybody, I'll see you in the next segment when we break our fast. It's 11.36 and we're hungry. I put a tablespoon of Kerrygold butter in Harry's pan. I put a half of a tablespoon of Kerrygold butter in mine. I get three eggs scrambled and I only get two ounces of ground chuck. So I am going to make a ground chuck and egg scramble. There we go. While the egg is browning, I'm going to put that right in there. Put a little scramble in it. I'm going to put a little bit of butter and butt rub in mine. Just get it a little seasoned ahead of time. There's mine. Going in. Ooh, that looks good. Doesn't that look good? Do you yeah. want one? That looks really good. You want one? You know what? You do? Yeah. Okay. Just mix my... I will. Do the same thing. You get three eggs and four ounces of ground beef. I'm going to take it over here and put just a splash of water. Works it right up. 
you get four ounces of beef. It was less. You know, you had less at one meal and one the other meal. Well, you had seven thousand. I would have to look and see. Well, I'm also adding more fat to yours today. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because you're supposed to get, in addition to this, you're also supposed to get a, so a little bit of beef tallow in yours. About a tablespoon. I'll just put it on top. much denser. Oh, you know what I didn't put in yours? I read thought rub. Oh, no! There's mine. Look how much it fluffs those eggs. Mm -hmm. going to keep these pans because we're going to cook on them tonight because we're having the same thing. Okay, you guys, Harry had two ounces extra ground beef and an extra egg. I get the bacon and I like it cold. I am having two of the bacons. See how I do tomorrow with the bacons because I'm having two. So check it out, folks. Ground beef and egg bowls, you guys. Smells delicious. With my bacon. This is what my arms are shaking. Can you see the plate shaking? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, you guys, gotta eat now. Oh, you guys, I got all my glasses. I have a pair on. Do you know how hard it is to try on glass frames with a face mask? <laughs> And you can't see because they don't have your lenses in them. But I always get one in a spare in case one breaks or in case I leave my computer glasses. I work at several different facilities after the zombie apocalypse li lifts. Yeah. Zombie apocalypse lockdown virus lifts and I go back to work. I go to two places and I put one in my briefcase and I could potentially forget one. So two computer glasses, two regular glasses, I hope they look good because, honestly, you guys, trying to try on glasses with a face mask just wasn't working very well. You can't see your face. You can't do anything. And, uh, yeah, it was crazy. Anyway, you guys, Brash is having their meat sale. Yes, they are. And I'm so excited because look what we got. We did a haul. You guys, they have the magnificent meat. A cut above the rest. And, you guys, this meat is local raised they have had a contract with a family farm out here forever and this was yeah. 2.99 a pound 45.55 and we got it for 14 dollars and 35 cents we got this one right here look at this beautiful one 16 dollars 45 cents it was 52 dollars and 20 cents all day long you guys we cheated I admit, I sent Marty in for two ground hamburgers because we're going through one and a half of these a day because we're eating the beef so much. So he went in and got two, and I got two. Sorry about that, but we did because we're going to eat it. So, you guys, two thirty-nine a pound for ground chuck, and this is uh, eighty twenty, and we got four packages. 
I got more farmland thick cut bacon because we know this one doesn't bother us. We know we like this one. Yeah. So I got two more. Harry got some bang, and you guys, they have like three flavors. This aluminum shortage is driving us crazy. Yeah, it really is. No root beer stevia to be found. The, the drinks are going because they're aluminum cans. Yeah. I got some of this uh, grape raspberry. I've never tried it, but Harry's a grape guy, so I got that for him. Maybe I'll share. Maybe yeah. I'll have some. Maybe she'll have one. And then this, I love ice. We got some more strawberry Perrier. I had buy two, get two dollars off. And we got some regular of the uh, coconut almond milk. In I case we want stuff. that. I love that stuff. I really do. Yeah, yeah, you know. And it's 45 calories for eight ounces. And it has monk fruit in it. I almost would like to put my own pumpkin spice stuff in there and make my, well, own, you can. my own stuff, you know. Anyway, you guys, we have not eaten yet. And it's almost seven o'clock. So... I did eat, I took purse bacon. I took my two pieces of bacon with me to do my eyes because I didn't know how long it takes because only like two people are allowed in the whole vision center at Walmart. They have it all off and you have to get your temperature taken. You have to wear, you know, a million things. So I had to do that. I had to take back um, that shirt at Macy's and get my return. You guys will see that shirt today. I took it back because it was just too small on me. It's cute, but it didn't fit. Anyway, I had to go shopping. So you guys, got to put all this away, then we'll come back and make some eggs and meatballs for dinner. Okay, everybody, we're ready to cook dinner. I've got three eggs, and I've got two ounces of ground beef in here with just a teeny-weeny bit of water for me. That's what I'm having. You get five ounces of ground beef, three eggs. We're hungry, we're tired. Woo! I'm gonna get just a little bit of water. Harry gets mad because he's like, I didn't get to see it, I didn't get to see it. Well, you don't see it because I just tap it. Mmm. Tap it. It's dark outside. It's dark, we never eat it, it's after seven. Yeah. We never do that, you guys. So that's like odd for us. 709. Yeah. Guys, look. Check it out, my meat. Check out the meat. She got her stacked. Got it stacked. But we got yeah. more room yet. Yes, I'm gonna go back we for need more. To, we need to go back tomorrow and grab some more. Yep, I'm getting beef. I got my bacon and back down there. Baby, all the way back up. Yes, we are. Because we can. Mm hmm. Smell. Oh, yeah. Something about. When you brown that butter, just the oh, smell. I know. It's really something in it. Brings me back to my child, and I'm telling you, when they had real butter in popcorn at the movies. Oh, yeah. God. Before they brought in the crappy oil for it. Oh, that's okay. You can have it. Get it off the burner. Oh, man, you guys. Woo! I get all turn of sweets, ketchup. I get my ketchup. So nice and easy. This is easy and filling and it's delicious, you guys. You guys have never had just ground hamburger in, in scrambled eggs. It's really, really good. It's hearty, it's filling. Huh, Harry? Oh yeah. That's very satisfying. With real butter, salt, and pepper. Can't beat that. Oh, my ketchup. What? I don't know ketchup. Uh, better be careful. I'll put some, I'll smack some right on top. Uh-uh. Yes, sir. Just watch me. Nope. Oops, I gotta fix that. Okay, you guys. This is our dinner. Super easy. Ground beef scramble. That's what's for dinner. Okay, you guys. Macy's had a sale and I bought some long sleeve tops from them and they just arrived. So I wanted to share them with you guys. Just a quick little fashion show. It's a medium, isn't this cute? Animal print. I have a cute little black fitted pencil skirt I wanna wear it with. I like that. It's a medium and it's a jersey knit. So it's actually, it's thin, 
but it's long sleeve for winter. This one is called Cuddle Duds. C-U-D-D-L Duds. Okay. And well, you guys, I've never had anything with the finger holes in it. Which for me, because I'm 5'9", I'm very tall, very long-armed, I'm excited about it. Looks good, I like it. Is it cute? Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, I love these. Yeah. So I have another cuddle, cuddle dud in another color. I think you guys will like That's kind of gray. This is gray and black. I've got gray Let's, leggings and I've I got get. black knee-high boots. So you can see the pattern. Kind of an animal-ish. Yeah. And it's so soft. And it's thin, but soft. And what I'm excited about, look at my arms. Yeah. Guys, for my cool sculpting. Yeah, looks it really good, doesn't it? Actually, fits me in the arms. Yeah. I'm excited. Hope I don't look too. Hope it's not too young for my age. No. But I love it. It feels so good, you guys. You're fine. Let me try on the next cuddle dud. Okay, you guys. This is another different style of the cuddle duds. I think it's too tight. I think I need a large in this one. I'm not as pleased with it. It doesn't have the hand things. The problem is, look, I'm tall, and look how long these are. I'm just not as happy with it. I think I'm going to give this one back, because yeah. I, I just think it's too tight. Yeah, it's too tight. I just tight. think it's too tight. It is. So, I got two. Two out of three is not bad, you guys. So, cuddle duds, I like. But I don't know why they didn't put a finger hold in here, because seriously... Look how this, I am, I'm 5'9". Anybody who's short, this is not the one for you. So, anyway, you guys, I'm excited. I got two new shirts. I just want to share that with everybody. And you guys, if you guys like what you see, please like, subscribe, ring that bell, so you guys get notification when we're up with our next vlog. Yeah, what a day, you guys. Hey, you guys. Just get up and move Walktober tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow as well. Good night, everyone. Say good night, Harry. Good night, Harry. Good night. Ooh, this looks so good. I gotta fix this though because.